Hey guys, I don't know if you guys can hear me in live chat. If you can, let me know. If you can hear me in live chat right now, let me know. Guys, we'll start in a few minutes. We'll just wait um, a couple of minutes to see if a few more people are joining us. They're not gonna. <laughs> you don't know. <laughs> okay, people I wanted to you. explain. Like, I want to okay, see hey, Alicia. You're talking in world oh, right now. One second. I wouldn't. Oh, it's <laughs> terrible. <laughs> okay, so I want to explain what's going on. I'm at the Blogger Vlogger Network in World right now, and Alicia Chino is about to give a talk about vlogging in Second Life, and it's going to start in just about uh, right now, <laughs> any minute now. And the reason I'm streaming it is because they were having a, a little bit of difficulty with their stream. So if you would like to come uh, to this uh to this uh, meetup right now, you can come to this discussion. I'm putting the slurl in the chat so you guys can come over and watch Alicia. And as soon as she starts, I'm going to mute myself and I'm just going to let the stream run on her. And also, if for some reason my stream cuts out or something, you can check out the Blogger Vlogger Network. They'll also be streaming on this link. I'm sharing their link in the chat as well. Okay? So, um, you guys uh, can come check it out and if you are looking for the website for the blogger blogger network it's bvnsl.com and they do great discussions i did a discussion here a few weeks ago uh, about social media and that's on my youtube channel i'm not sure if you guys saw it so today it's alicia chino she's also a vlogger a second life vlogger and she does a great job on her channel if you haven't subscribed yet make sure you guys click over and subscribe and um, I'm here right now. I'll show you where I'm sitting. I'm sitting over here in the back. I came in disguise to uh, secretly heckle her. No, just joking. <laughs> I'm actually really interested in what she has to say. Hopefully I can learn a lot myself. So that's me. There's quite a lot of people here already. So if you do have trouble coming into the sim, you can watch her whole talk on my live stream as well as the BVN live, live stream, which I linked. And that's it, guys. I hope you guys enjoy it. I'll leave the stream running for now. Uh, and hopefully I, I won't get crash or disconnect. I am a little bit laggy right now, but I'm closing everything else down. So it shouldn't be too many issues. Hopefully they'll start any time now. Okay, I think uh, it's time to get started. So, thank you all for coming. 
Um, we're super excited. Today we have Alicia Chino. Um, and she's like an amazing vlogger, video blogger, and she's going to tell you guys all about how she does what she does. But before we kind of hand things over to her, um, I, I see a lot of you are wearing your BVN tags. Thank you. That's awesome. Um, please, if you're not already a member of the BVN group, click on this thing right over here, this easel, and you can join it completely for free. Um, you get like early seating to our presentations. We have some group gifts coming up. Um, you get to know about all our contests, our parties, our discussions, the Residual Sims, opportunities for like blogging and vlogging. Um, and it's a really good group to join. Wait, you guys can hear me, right? Is it just Kirsten? Okay. Okay. Um, it would really suck if I just said all that to myself. So I'm glad you guys can hear me. Um, if <laughs> Uh, if you join the BVN group today, you're able to get these poses that are like to the right of the easel. Um, those are only for BVN group members. Uh, and they were provided to us by Ginger Fish Poses. They are bento and they're super cute. So join the group, grab some poses and, uh, you know, put them in your blogs and vlogs. They're super cute. Um, coming up next week, we have... Um, Oakley Foxtrot here and she's going to be talking about defining her style or your style defining your style she's she's a very very unique blogger she does um she she really does have her own kind of style so we thought it would be good to have her and then the following week on the 20th we have Wentz Tempest who is actually here she's one of the best um home and garden bloggers on the grid and so she's going to be coming and talking to us about home and garden stuff and how to blog for that. Um, the following week, we're actually going to have a photo contest. It's not going to be with Blythe. That kind of didn't work out for everybody. Um, we're hopefully going to be back up with them maybe in the fall. But we're going to have a really fun photo contest. I'm really, really excited to get the information out to you guys. So make sure that you pay attention to the group or join the Discord. You're going to know... Um, all about it and i think you guys are really gonna like it super excited um and then on june 3rd we have wicca merlin coming back she gave a talk i think it was last week about um uh photography and like ways to do different photography things in us all she's coming back specifically to talk about like wind lights and and more on how to design the photo in sl so you don't have to do as much work outside of sl um, so that's what we've got going on. So we hope to see you guys there. But for today, we have the fantastic Miss Alicia. She, um, she's been blogging like about 10 years in us all. She started with her own personal blog and then she moved into fashion blogging. She's become one of the, um, like pioneers i guess i would say of the vlogging movement um i know you know we told you guys about strawberry sing has a contest or had a contest or a meme to to try to encourage people to get into vlogging it it's timed so well i don't know i don't think it was on purpose but it's just timed so well with with alicia's chat because you guys are um are gonna learn all about how she does what she does you know, and, and, and kind of how she became this, this, oh, it was on purpose. That's awesome. Um, so she, she's this awesome blogger and we're going to hear all about it. So thank you for coming today. And Alicia, I'll turn everything over to you. Okay. So before we get started, can everybody hear me? I just want to make sure. So I'm not talking to myself. <laughs> Okay, hi shut up, Barry. <laughs> so uh, let me say thank you to Dell and Kess and Trouble and the rest of the Blogger and Vlogger Network for having me here today. 
I really, really love this group, and I am so happy that it is in Second Life. So getting to speak with all of you today is really an honor for me. So to start off, I'm just going to give you guys some of my background and talk about my vlogging experience. Not so much the technical part. Um, and then, of course, you guys can ask me so many questions afterwards. So think of many questions because I like questions. If you've ever talked to me, you know that I really enjoy just answering questions. So, so for those of you who don't know me, my name is Alicia Cheneau, and I have been a blogger in Second Life for 10 years and a vlogger for one year. Just about one year, I think. It's, yeah, this month, I think, makes one year. I started out with just a personal Second Life blog at the very end of 2007, and by mid-2008, it was one of the most widely read lifestyle blogs in Second Life, which was crazy to me. But this was back in a time when personal blogs were a lot more numerous than the fashion blogs. And it was also around that time that fashion blogging really started to pick up spe steam. And um, then by 2009, I decided to go ahead and split my blog into two and I became a fashion blogger. But we didn't come to really talk about blogs. So YouTube is something that I've always wanted to do. I follow a lot of real life vloggers, especially those who do the daily or weekly vlogs where they just share their lives. As much as I like the beauty tutorials and the cooking lessons and things like that, I enjoy more the people who show us their personality and share their viewpoints and their feelings and introduce us to their families and friends and all that sort of stuff. It was something that I was really considering doing. But unlike these people, I didn't really want to show my face. Not that it's an ugly face, but I didn't really want to go in public in that way. And let's face it, my daily life is not exactly the most exciting, and I think I probably would have stopped within a week, because nobody really wants to see me going to the grocery store to buy bread or diet Dr. Pepper. So when I realized that I could vlog in Second Life, it opened up this whole new world for me. I had done one video before um, that I had gotten a lot of good feedback on. It was for doing smile shapes. And this was before the, um, the mesh head thing really took off in Second Life. So I used to do like a different, a different shape for making a smile and, um, and stuff like that. Sorry, I just got really distracted because one of the YouTubes I was listening to just came on, like the thing. Anyway, <laughs> um, so my first real video that I did for vlogging that I consider started me on this vlogging path was a very short video showing off a house that I had decorated because I didn't really feel that one photo in my blog was going to show off this house. So I did a little vlog and it wasn't very good. <laughs> and I think I sounded really stupid in it. Well, actually, I think I sound stupid in most of my vlogs, but whatever. But I also had a lot of great feedback on that video. So I did another one. And then I did another one. And then I was completely hooked on vlogging. But here's the thing. I knew I didn't want to do just style vlogging. As much as I love the fashion world of Second Life, I felt like I would get really bored just doing nothing but showing off clothing and shoes. And I really wasn't going to do home and garden vlogging because there are way better decorators than me. I wanted to do what my favorite real life vloggers do. I wanted to show off things that I like and talk about my opinions and just share slices of my Second Life world. I wanted to do a little bit of everything because what we have to remember is that the fashion community is a very teeny tiny fraction of Second Life. And I think this is where some people who want to vlog or even just blog, I think this is where they get stuck because it seems to us that 
All there is to show off in Second Life is fashion, and that is 100% untrue. One thing that I had learned while doing a personal blog is that it was always better for me to write in a way that people from all corners of Second Life would be a little bit interested in what I had to say. And this was also really beneficial for me because this meant when people who read my blog would contact me about whatever I wrote about that day, I would get to learn about so much of Second Life and all these things that I probably wouldn't have found out about otherwise. So when I moved to being a fashion blogger, people who knew me from my personal blog followed me over there because they already trusted my opinion on items. And then they were also able to tell me places to shop that I probably would not have found out about my own because, as you all know, I kind of live under a rock most of the time. When I began vlogging on YouTube, it started out to be just this total mashup of stuff. My partner said that it was like picking up my personal blog and just plopping it right there on YouTube. Don't tell him I said this, but he was totally right. As I was trying to find my footing in this new adventure, I tried to figure out really what kind of vlogger I wanted to be. At first, I wanted to be one of those lovely vloggers who was very polished and sweet. A Michelle Fawn instead of a Grace Helbig. An Ingrid Nielsen instead of a Trisha Paytas. But as it turned out, that really wasn't me. But it is totally okay, because I found out that the more authentic I was, the more people were watching. And not just watching, but relating to me. The silly me, the clumsy even in Second Life me, the me who can't pronounce anything and gets really stupidly excited over things that I unbox, and stumbles over my words and laughs too much and has a cat in the background who won't stop screaming during my recordings. That was the person they wanted to watch. The more me that I share, the more IMs and note cards and comments I get from people who completely relate to me. I can't really say that that was completely new to me. Doing a personal blog for so long, it was how I met a lot of people. They related to me. They understood where I was coming from. If they had an opinion on a subject, believe me, they weren't afraid to tell me. And it's no secret that I had another avatar from 2006 to late 2007, and I was completely not myself in that year. I felt initially that I should be this whole other person when I started over, but I was wrong. The more of my personality that I let out, the more people really began to like me. And more than that, the more I really began to like myself. I think this is really the most important thing if you want to begin blogging or vlogging in Second Life. Be you. Be authentic. Remember that your words, they do mean something. Some people don't want to see just unbox female fashion. They don't want to see just trolls. They want to see other sims and they want to see your home and they want to know what you think about the items that you're showing. They just want to know what you think in general. I cannot tell you how many times I've been told by somebody that they don't actually just watch my videos, but they just listen to them in the background because it's like chatting with a friend. A very talkative friend, if you haven't noticed how much I've just been rambling here. But a friend, anyway. And I really love it every single time that I hear that. I've also met a lot of people who were not Second Life residents who just happened to find my YouTube channel, watch some videos, and decided to join Second Life. And why did they do that? Well, because I showed them that there was more to Second Life than being trolled in an info hub, and more than just shopping. I mean, don't get me wrong, they are shopping. Once they get in here, they are shopping. And they're watching the primarily fashion vloggers like Barry and Cassie, and 
they're checking out other places and they're finding their way into this world that we all love so much. I mean, we wouldn't be here if we didn't and we wouldn't do the things that we do if we didn't love Second Life so much. And honestly, I can't think of a better compliment to me and to all of you than to have somebody join our world just because we showed them how good it can be. There's no one right way to vlog. There's, there's never going to be just one right way to do it. This is just the way that I do it. And I know that I have a lot to learn about vlogging and YouTube and editing and all of that. But I really couldn't be any happier since starting this entire thing. And I hope that you guys are also really happy with what you're doing. And if you aren't vlogging yet, just start. Just jump in there, find yourself a free program, and just get in there. Because everybody has something to say. And I would love to see what all of you have to say. So that is my enormous spiel and <laughs> words that are just flying out of my mouth. So if you guys have questions, I am so ready for questions. And I talk way too much. I'm sorry. <laughs> Thank you so much. Oh, and I guess I guess the number one question will be, what do you use to record? Well, I use Camtasia Studio. Um, it is not a free program. There is a free trial, though, if you want to get started with it, um, which is what I did. And as I kept vlogging, um, and this was something that was going to be something that I was going to keep doing, then it was gifted to me as kind of a encouragement gift, I guess, to keep doing it. <laughs> I'm sorry, Barry. <laughs> Wait, you can use Camtasia too, girl. <laughs> what program do I think is the easiest? Oh, gosh. Um... Well, I found Camtasia to be the easiest for me just because everything is right there. Like all the, you know, the recording and the editing and everything is right there. But I also know that that is a very pricey little piece of software to do it. Um, it's very, <laughs> it's pricey. Um, my brother-in-law uses Movavi Studio and he and it is, it is not a free program, but it's a lot less expensive. And he was able to learn how to use that very quickly. OBS for free is great. And that is what I use when I live stream. Um, I don't know anything about the editing of that. I know that you can edit in Photoshop too. Um, there are just so many little programs out there. I would suggest just downloading as many as you can and figuring out which one works best for you. Are there more questions? I think you can send your questions to Adele, and she can ask me if you don't want to ask them out loud. Um, yes. <laughs> if you don't want to ask questions out loud. And there are people typing. I can hear them kind of click-clacking in the back there. I wish you guys could see how wild my hands got while I was talking. Um, I talk with my hands a lot. And I'm just flailing around over here. <laughs> and I'm also trying not to speak too quickly because I know that's been a... But I, I speak quickly. I don't know.
What should new vloggers avoid? I would avoid being very negative in your vlogs. Um, I had somebody tell me the other day that there was a vlogger that they were watching and they didn't like watching this person because all they were doing was basically ranting about stuff. And I think that nobody really wants to stick around, especially for a Second Life video, for somebody who can't stop being negative. So I would say that if you do have a complaint about something, yeah, you should totally tell it, but try not to be too negative all the time because you don't want that to be your reputation. What do you think about all the troll videos about SL on YouTube? I personally don't like the troll videos. I don't, I just, I don't, I don't watch them um, very often unless somebody links them to me. I think that you have to be respectful of other people in Second Life and going to somebody's home that they paid for and basically yelling at them or making them yell or making them uncomfortable in their own home, that's not something that I think is very appropriate. But I understand why some people would find that really funny. Um, but people have all kinds of different humor. I personally don't care for them that much. But, and I think that watching those, if you're not a Second Life resident already, would not make you want to join. And that kind of sucks. <laughs> okay, um, let's see here. How are you able to keep your videos going without them being so short? I know some fans, people aren't fans of super short videos. I have a really hard time not making my videos like an hour long. A lot of the time when I am vlogging, I have like a good hour of material and I just chop it up into something a lot more condensed. Um, if you look um, in your creator studio under the analytics, you will see how long people are actually watching your videos. So right now I have an average of about five minutes. So that means that they're watching my video for about five minutes before they take off. And I think a lot of that is um, when I do unboxings and I have the jump cuts, some of that are designers coming just to hear what I said about their particular item. They're not actually watching the whole video. So when I can, I try to keep my regular videos under 15 minutes. And then the unboxings, if I can get it under 20 minutes, I am so excited. <laughs> but usually for an unboxing, it's under 25. Let's see here. I'm trying to get all these questions here. Um, let's see, where do you share your videos in order to gain more of a following? Um, I share my videos pretty much everywhere that I possibly can. Um, I have Plurk and Twitter and Facebook, which I'm not actually that great about updating. And also, um, AskNurse.com, which I found out through Barry's presentation. And I just share everything everywhere that I possibly can. Um, I get the most hits just from people who have subscribed. Um, but I also get a lot of people watching through um, Twitter and Plurk. But I, I feel like those are people who actually already know me. But if you go into your creator studio for, um, for YouTube and you look under the analytics, it gives you so much information about which videos are popular and which ones are getting watched, you know, the most, and um, where people are coming from, and your demographics, and all of that stuff. So I would definitely look in your creator studio under your analytics and just see what people are, are looking for, what they're searching when they find you, and all that good stuff. Uh, let's see here, what's an unboxing? An unboxing is when we get um, like the subscription boxes, like Luxbox or Bishbox or um, Deco Crate, and we just unbox them right there on YouTube so that we can see all the stuff. 
<laughs> you found out about me on Flurk. That's where I found out about you too. <laughs> I don't think I added you though. I think you added me. What kind of pre-planning goes into my vlogs? Oh lord. Um, well for the unboxings, that's not a lot of pre-planning. That's mostly me saying, yay, time to unbox. And I stand in my, in my skybox and I do that sort of thing. Um, I'm not very good at planning. I'm just not. And I'm not good at schedules either. So a lot of the vlogs that I do, I kind of just squish it in there in between the time that I have. Like, if I have spare time, I will do it. I do come up with ideas in advance of what I want to do. It's just finding the time. Um, but I, I do have, I have lists and sometimes I will actually leave the house and go sit somewhere where I'm not near the computer and write on an actual paper, um, things that I want to do. And I did a lot of that during, um, Vlogmas. I had to think about, you know, what I was going to do during Vlogmas and the daily, the daily vlogs needed, needed a little bit more planning. Although a lot of those were also just, I'm online, let's see what happens today. Which seems to be my entire life. <laughs> <laughs> are there any rules terms or service to be aware of around showing people's ims to you or people logging in and out while you're recording that new vloggers should know about um i i really try and i don't know if this is a rule or a part of the terms of service but i try not to have anybody's names in my videos if they don't know that their name is going to be imminent. Um, just because, you know, maybe some people don't want, want other people to know that they talk to me or they don't want other people to know they're online that day or, you know, something like that. So I really try to have no names if I can help it unless the person knows that that's what they're trying to do. So there are times where I will be um, talking or doing a video and uh, somebody IMs me and I have to cut it and then start again with what I'm saying or something like that. One term of service that you guys really need to know about and I know Barry touched on it on her presentation is that we're not allowed to video everywhere in Second Life and I know a lot of us are kind of skirting around that rule there check the covenant of every sim that you want to record on if it doesn't say that you can record there you're not supposed to record there without permission of the sim owner and i i want to say that i do this all the time but i don't especially when i go to stores um but i always figure well it's publicity why wouldn't they want their sh their store shown so if you own a store in second life or you have a place where you don't mind people coming to do videos write it in the covenant that they are allowed to do that you can take pictures anywhere you want basically but for video check the covenant of the sim that you're on because we're not supposed to do a video everywhere and there should be a list on vvn And that was something that I didn't know when I got started. I thought you could just do anything. Yeah, that's the machinima thing. So just check the covenants when you're going to record somewhere or find the owner of the sim and just be like, hey, is it cool? 99% of the time, it's going to be cool. Like, they, they don't care. They just didn't know. The trolls get by that by just being trolls and not caring. They're not supposed to. <laughs> I mean, honestly, if you're doing it and nobody says anything, then, you know, I mean, nobody says anything. Because that's a rule that people don't really think about. You know, you think of Second Life as being just this big open space, and it's it's not. But yeah, trolls don't care. The trolls are going to do what they're going to do. <laughs> What do you think are some pitfalls that people looking to start vlogging should avoid? Well, I would say don't overwhelm yourself too quickly. Don't say, I'm going to do this, this, and this, 
and I'm going to do it every day, or I'm going to fill this, or, you know, just don't overwhelm yourself. When you get started, just start slowly. Do one video. Think about it. Think about if you like that video or not, then do another one. And just, you know, just never overclock yourself, never overschedule yourself with vlogging because you still have other things that you need to do in your real life and your second life and things like that. Um, I have a kind of schedule with my, with my vlogs, um, but I don't do it all the time because I have a lot of real life stuff that I do and in my second lifetime that I have, I would rather spend it with family or something like that. So it you have to balance. Learn to balance, I guess, would be also something that I would tell a new vlogger is just learn how to balance. You don't have to do 20 videos a week. You know, you don't have to do that. You don't have to show everything all the time, you know, unless you want to. Like, if that's your thing and that's what you want to do, do that. And then I, I would also suggest don't burst into the vlogging scene being all negative about, like, every designer either. You know, like, don't open something that somebody gave you and be like, ew, no, let me talk about this or let me complain about that. So, you know, be be a little bit uh, not negative. <laughs> Yeah, I, I do have those times where I'm like, oh, this isn't really me, but let me not bash this product because maybe it's just me. What are some ideas you could give someone for starting out with vlogging? Well, I would say you could start with a home tour. People love to see inside your house. Um, every time that I've done a video, done a house tour, people love it. And when I live stream and I'm in the house and I show things around, people want to see it again even if they've already seen it like 20 times they love seeing your house so sometimes that is a really good way to start vlogging is just say hey this is where i live and show show your things if you have a platform hey show your platform but um you know people really really like houses girl you need to do your house because your house is cute <laughs> Kirsten's house is super cute, y'all. She needs to do a home tour. But yeah, I would say uh, that's a really good idea for a new vlogger. Also, um, just do maybe just do a video introducing yourself, uh, talking about what your second life is like and what you like to do. Um, you could also show a store that you like. Um, like I do, okay, every Thursday I do, well, almost every Thursday, I've, I think I've missed the past two because I suck. Um, I do a, a thing called New to Me Thursday where I show a store that I didn't really know about before. You know, usually I found it through an event or something and I go and I check it out and I, I show things like that. And that's really fun. I get a lot of great feedback on that. Um, but you could also show stores that you really, really love or an event that you really love. There's so much in Second Life that it's almost impossible to not figure out something to show. You know what, though? Some people love demo shopping, too. Um, I don't know if you guys, I, I'm not sure if you guys know this person. Um, they're called Kim, his, his name, or her name, I'm not sure which to call it. Um, Kimberly Clark, it's a real life vlogger, does something called an anti haul where he shows things that he's not going to buy. <laughs> so if you go and get a whole bunch of demos and show the demos, people will watch you put on a demo, and then you can tell them if you're going to go buy it or not. 
Yeah, I would say somebody start a demo shopping thing. I think that would be really fun. You're welcome. Yeah, I love demo shopping. I get demos all the time. My inventory is so full. Um. Oh, also, if you know how to do something in Second Life that you, you know, you found a way to do something easier, like inventory cleaning or, um, you know, if you're building something or, or things like that, do a tutorial. Tutorials are great videos and people really love getting to learn about other people. Yeah, doing a tutorial is awesome. That's, um, my second vlog video was about using the AnyPose system. And I got a lot of great feedback on that. A lot of people learned how to use it a little bit better and how to save their poses and things like that. Um, you know, if you're using a new gadget, if you're showing something new, you know, do a tutorial. People can learn all the time because everybody has a different learning style and everyone has a different teaching style. Have you done any collaborations? Um, recently I did a, well, I guess I could call it a collaboration. I'm not really sure. But I did a video with my sister and, um, our partners on landscaping. Um, my sister does sim wide design. Like she designs sims. And people kept asking me about our home sim, which was all her. Like I had nothing to do with it, basically. And, um, so that was really fun. I did a video on land, renting land in Second Life with uh, Jacqueline Daniels once. I would love to do a video with Barry one day, if she will do one with me. And I would also like to do one with Freya and Cassie and Kirsten and all that stuff. <laughs> Look how mean Barry is to me. <laughs> but I would love to do I would love to hang out with people and talk and just video and do Oh my god, a big collab with all the vloggers would be so much fun. <laughs> yeah, Freddy can be a bully too. <laughs> But yeah, um, I was actually asked yesterday, I think, um, if I would ever consider doing a meet and greet. I think that would be something kind of fun for a lot of vloggers is to do like a, a panel, a meet and greet panel somewhere and just have people come and talk to us. I think that would be fun. I wouldn't want to do it with just me because I just don't feel like I'm big enough to do something like that. A BVN shopping tour. That would be awesome. <laughs> Do you think of vlogging has given you a different outlook on SL? Um... Yes and no. Um, I love Second Life. I wouldn't have been here for like 11 years if I didn't love Second Life. Um, I think this world is incredible. It is so creative and it's like we're, I feel like that we're walking into somebody's art every time that we log in because everything around us is created by these amazing artists that we have. So, I think the vlogging has made me love it a little bit more because I've gotten to show off so many things and when you when you show somebody something that you love and you're explaining it to them it kind of makes you love it a little bit more 
So I really, I really enjoyed that. And I, I don't know, for a long time, I was kind of living in like this little bubble with my family and everything. And I wasn't getting to meet a lot, a lot of new people. And through vlogging, I have met so many more people in Second Life, and they're so amazing. Like, just talking to them, learning their stories and things like that. I love, I love just people watching and getting to know people and their backgrounds and what they think and their opinions and all that sort of stuff. So, it's definitely changed that I am not in this tiny little bubble anymore. I'm getting to meet a lot more people. Now, I have social anxiety. Um, I've had social anxiety since I was six years old. And so for me, when somebody's like, oh my god, we should hang out, I'm like, eh, deer in the headlights. <laughs> but getting to talk to them through IMs or note cards or something like that has been really great for me and for my anxiety as well. <laughs> Put a deer head on me. Yeah, I, when people are like, I love your videos, let's hang out. I'm like, ooh, <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> yeah, um, so I am very socially anxious, so that's probably why I'm over here and just like flailing and holding on to stuff on my desk and everything, because I'm just, I'm kind of nervous talking to you all. But <laughs> no, Barry, I will totally hang out with you. You... Yes. <laughs> if I know you, if I've known you for a while, I'm so okay with you. But newer people, I'm just like, ooh, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, I it it's a little bit scary, but I really, really enjoy getting to know people. What tips would you give to somebody coming from IMVU? I would say right away that you need to learn that IMVU is nothing like Second Life. <laughs> um, there is so much more to do here. Just learning how to walk can be kind of tough. Um, it's been many, many years since I've tried IMVU, so I'm just kind of going off uh, what I've seen on videos as well. Um, in IMVU, I, I don't know, I don't know this for sure, but are all of the, um, are all of the rooms there, are those built by other people or are they built by IMVU? Because, you know, in Second Life, pretty much everywhere you go was built by somebody else, like somebody here in Second Life. Um... So I would say just, you know, know that it's it's not the same. People don't come here specifically to chat. A lot of the times they're working or they're doing pictures or, you know, things like that. So if somebody doesn't talk to you, don't take it don't take it personally. <laughs> and not to mention you can you can move. <laughs> I think that is one one thing you're really able to walk around and uh in Second Life and dance, and it's just very open. <laughs> I I do want to go back into IMVU one day just to uh, record just something in there, but um, I just haven't done that yet. Oh, thank you, Tiffany. Yeah, I would say with IMVU, you're probably just standing there, but Second Life, you should be a little bit more interactive with people if you're around or walking around or running around or something like that. <laughs> no, keep asking questions. I love them. Um, would you say the first video is always the most awkward or nerve-wracking? Um... Yeah. <laughs> okay, so my first actual video for YouTube, and it's not the one that I consider that started me as a vlogger, but it's the first one that I did, um, with doing the smile shapes, I felt super awkward talking and saying, you know, well, this is what you do, and you do this, and you do that. Um, I feel kind of awkward every time <laughs> that I do a video. And some of them I'm a little bit more nervous in than others. But yeah, definitely your first 
it, I would say even like your first five, while you're still trying to figure out like um, what to say and how to say it, and you're basically talking to a screen. And that can be kind of weird when you're not talking to somebody. But I just remember that I'm talking to a lot of people. And so sometimes when I do my videos, I pretend that I'm talking to one person. And so I'm talking to the um, screen here, basically the same way that I would talk to almost anybody. Yeah, I would say Second Life is probably more overwhelming than IMVU. <laughs> I don't know. I think that may have to be a video soon, going into IMVU and just checking it out. Oh, <laughs> the hair that I am wearing is, um, I believe this is the uh, Cherry Hair by Truth, and it is at Uber. You're welcome. Uh, do I turn voice on in world or keep it off and use the program's mic? Um, yeah, I just use the voice. Um, I have, um, right now I'm using the microphone that's on my headset, but I actually have a fancy microphone that sits at the side of my desk and it's got the pop screen and the squishy part to the microphone. And so I don't tend to use voice in world. And when I do a video with somebody else, I go through Skype. At least for their voice. Because I find that Second Life voice is not always the most uh, stable and not always the best. Although I do get much better uh, quality doing voice narration rather than just talking, but I don't like to do it at that time. Yeah, Second Life voice is not, not perfect. <laughs> I just got asked if uh, we have filled up the sim you guys <laughs> somebody wants to come to a store and they can't come <laughs> Sorry, I crashed your sim. <laughs> I'm resolving that issue soon. You gonna kick somebody out? No, I think they made it. We're okay. We're okay. <laughs> Oh my god, it's like the Hunger Games. <laughs> oh, come on, look at us. You know we'd be capital people. <laughs> Are there more questions or anything I can tell you guys? You asked one up above. Ooh, sorry. Um... Ask it again, please, because I can't... I can't find it. <laughs> okay. Um... We'll do Kirsten's first, and then I'll do Barry's. 
keep trying to do more vlogs so I can get more followers. I think that must be the best way, but I'm really inconsistent. I do reviews, tutorials, unboxing, tutorials, and home tours. What else is there? Um, I would say that really consistency is more of a key to getting more people. Now, you know that through blogging is that you, you know, have to blog at least a couple times a week um, to keep people coming back because if there's no content, nobody's going to show up. So I would say try to get in the habit of doing at least one vlog a week. Now, I do have times where my real life is really nuts and I haven't been able to do that. Um, but I would say just at least shoot for one once a week just to have people know that when they come back, to your channel there will always be something there one thing that I have noticed lately is that I'm getting more subscribers when I live stream and when I live stream it's really fun because it's just me doing what I'm doing chatting away and um, I'm talking to people and chatting and everything so live streams can be a great way to have people just kind of figure out who you are without the editing too <laughs> Yeah, you're going to have to do more. Even if it is just a live stream where you're just showing off your inventory or something, just be a little bit more consistent. Who are some of the vloggers you enjoy watching on YouTube? Second Life or Real Life? Okay, well, I spend a lot of time on YouTube. <laughs> I have over 300 subscriptions at this point. Um, luckily, not all of them are actually doing anything anymore. But, um, so for Second Life, of course, I love Barry because she's Barry and whatever. Um, Freya and Cassie and Kirsten when she vlogs, which everybody needs to start poking Kirsten over here, make her vlog more. Um, <laughs> look at Barry. Uh, let's see, there is somebody on YouTube, and she doesn't do a lot of a lot of vlogs, but you should look her up under, um, I think it's Virtual Adventure Tours, and she shows off some places in Second Life, and she did one where she went to, um, I don't, it's like a, a Mount Everest uh, recreation, and she fell off the mountain, and it was so funny, because she's got, she says, she has such a cute little voice and everything, she's really adorable, so there are so many Second Life vloggers that you just don't even know, uh, I believe it is Virtual Adventure Tours, um, hang on, let me, I'll look it up, but she's, she's really cute, and she just shows off little places, um, Oh, I think it's Ventural Adventure. Let's see. I have her. Oh, yes. Uh, Virtual Adventure Vlogs. And um, she hasn't she hasn't updated in a couple of months. She's not real consistent either. But um, she does she does really cute ones. Like she showed some haunted houses and uh, she met a zombie and everything. She's really cute. Um, let's see who else. Well, for real life, um, I love Bub's Beauty. And I don't really watch her beauty channel anymore. I watch her vlogging channel for uh, vlog Bub's Vlogs. Um, I love Psycho Soprano and the MJ Way. And um, Dan and Phil are my little loves. They're my little small beans. I watch <laughs> everything that they do. Uh, let's see. I like the Levine life. I like, I used to like LaToya forever, but she's gotten kind of weird lately. So, uh, um, let's see. Who else? Who else? I, uh, I love so many people. Um, I love Bart and Geo. Um, they're part of the Just Kidding Films team. Um, so Bart and Geo and then, uh, uh, Joe, their their friend. Oh, and this guy, uh, his name is Ryan, and he does something called Vlog After College, and I love him. He's so cute, and he has the cutest corgi. Like, he's a corgi dog named Gatsby, and ah, I love him so much. I could talk about vloggers all the time, so let's see here. Um, <laughs> I know we had another question. Uh, what is your strangest experience vlogging, or the funniest? Ooh. Let's think. 
Hmm. Well, there was a time that I went, um, I was showing, what was I showing? I think I was showing something over, like, the Linden Portal Park or something. Um, and this guy just, like, showed up out of nowhere, and it scared me. Um, strangest. I don't know. I, you know, I'll have to think about that, because I know that there's been some weird stuff that has happened. A lot of the times, the weird stuff is just me getting spooked when I'm somewhere and somebody just shows up. Because I spend so much time alone on um, my sim when I'm uh, when I'm vlogging that when somebody just shows up, it's just like, ah, my god. <laughs> What tips would you give someone that just came back after a year and a half break? I've been so lost. Oh, well, welcome back. Definitely welcome back. Um, I would say just start looking at, start looking at the blogs, start looking at the vlogs. Um, I love that there are vlogs now because I think a lot of people learn about Second Life better. Um, if they can listen to somebody talking about it and, uh, get a, Get a Matreya body, because that's the way you're going to be able to wear clothes, basically. Um, although there are many mesh bodies out there. Um, but just so many vlogs, so many vlogs. There's such a wealth of experience out there. Yeah, oh yeah, that was a strange thing, is when I started vlogging and people just started showing up at the house. <laughs> Cause they just wanted to see me. They just, they just wanted to hang out. Like, ooh, okay, you need to not. <laughs> yeah, I had to lock down our sim for a little while because people weren't just coming over. They were also coming to troll. Um, so we had to turn voice off on the sim because YouTube trolls, they have nothing if they can't talk. And, um, yeah, it got, it got kind of weird for a while. How do you ignore the haters? Okay, so, I, I know that there are people who aren't going to like what I do. You know, I, I see that every time that I do a video and I get a thumbs down. But I just figure, you know what? I'm not for everybody. And you're not for everybody, and she's not for everybody. But there is, you're for somebody. You know? So I just figure when somebody wants to bring me down or talk about, you know, oh my god, your voice is terrible, or what are you such, you know, you're such a loser being in Second Life, I just figure, well, you're a loser for calling me a loser. You're the one that's over here trying to bring somebody down. So I just block and ignore. <laughs> no, nobody's a loser. Yeah, I just figure if you're a hater and that's the way you want to live your life, well, what are you going to do, you know? Uh, how do they turn off IMs and login notifications? Oh, that is actually pretty easy. So what you would do is go into your preferences. And I use Firestorm. I don't use the regular viewer, but I'm going to assume it's about the same in each but this is for Firestorm. Go into your preferences, and the first thing that I do is go into chat, and I go into chat windows, and I disable all group chats. Because if you're part of Rain or Blueberry or Genesis Lab, <laughs> you know that those groups are going to pop up. So I turn all of those off. Um, then I go to user interface, and I go and I turn off my hover tips because I don't like the hover tips popping up while I'm, while I'm recording. Um, then I go into top bars and I basically uncheck everything. I, um, I don't show my currency balance. I don't show the favorites bar, I don't show the navigation bar. I don't show the location of where I am because sometimes, especially if I'm live streaming um, and I don't tell people where I am, because people will find out where you are or where you live from your location. And that's a little... They will just show up <laughs> wherever you are. So you just kind of have to uh, turn all of that off. But you can do all of that through preferences. Uh, 
And I don't know whose dog that is, but I'm not cleaning up the accident on the floor. Sorry. <laughs> no! <laughs> but yeah, all publicity is good publicity, so if somebody is out there calling you names or whatever, well, they're, they're at least thinking about you. Yeah, I just, you know, I know that I'm not going to be everyone's cup of tea. I know that. Um, I laugh too much. I can't pronounce things. My voice is really annoying. And, I sh and I'm not a troll, you know? So I'm not going to be for everybody. But the ones that like me, who show up for my live streams and watch my videos and comment and send me IMs and things like that, I do it for them. You know? It's just... There's more people who like me than dislike me, and other people's opinion of me is really not my business. Yep, you just gotta let that hate roll off your back like a duck. Because <laughs> you will find more people who like you more than dislike you. Yep, just be a duck. Let it roll. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you. Yeah, I mean, honestly, when I'm editing, I get so sick of my own voice. <laughs> I, I finish the video and I'm like, oh god, I can't believe I'm going to make people watch this. It's terrible. Oh my god, I'm about to come and cut you. <laughs> I don't really, I don't know, I don't celebrate birthdays in real life very much. Um, there'll be cake. <laughs> I just know there'll be cake. Yeah, Lizzie, I have a really hard time because I find myself hilarious most of the time. And so a lot of the, uh, the things that I cut out of my videos are just me laughing, like, hysterically over something stupid that I said. Yeah, I am. <laughs> My birthday is in August. Everybody think about what to get me. <laughs> no, I don't want any trolls. We actually had a couple of trolls come to the house uh, a few months ago. Um, I forget the guy's name, but he does have a YouTube channel. And they kept talking, and I told the girls, because it was just me and the girls, and um, and they just kept talking and talking, and I, told, and I told the girls, don't, don't do anything, don't yell, don't get mad, just um, be very polite. And we were super polite, and I think that bothered them, and so they just kept going and going and going, and then finally it was like, they started getting a little um, inappropriate towards um one of my daughters and that's when i kicked them and then i thought you know what let's turn voice off <laughs> because we don't need that happening again yeah i just i, I think i was a little bit curious as to what would uh what would go on but i told the girls right away you know don't just be polite. Don't interact. So I would say that if you ever encounter one of these trolls from YouTube or something, don't get angry and don't talk on voice to them. Because that's what they want. If you don't talk on voice to them, if you're not yelling at them, they have nothing.
I'm just getting sarcastic with them. We found that the more polite we are to a troll, um, the worse it is because they don't, they can't do anything if you're not screaming at them. Did we seriously fill up the sim? <laughs> Somebody just told me that we filled up the sim. Oh my gosh. It's amazing. You guys are so sweet. <laughs> Act like a crazed bad girl. <laughs> um, hi, Apu. <laughs> yeah, if you guys have more questions, let me know. They've got me here for like another 20 minutes. I'm chained. You guys don't understand. That's okay. I know it's a little laggy. How do I feel about adoption centers? Oh, um. Well, I found one of my kids through Heritage Adoption. So, I like Heritage the most. If you're going to go through an adoption agency, go through Heritage. I think they run it the, uh, the best. What do you find hardest about vlogging? Ooh, um, well, for me personally, finding the time to do it is kind of the, uh, is kind of the thing, um, because during, of course, during the day, I have real life stuff that I do, um, and at night, like, from 7 p.m. Second Life Time until about midnight Second Life Time, I don't do any kind of, uh, work thing, and I'm using air quotes here, I don't do vlogs or blogs, unless nobody is online. Um, so if you see me on during the day, I am probably doing a video because that's when I have a little bit of time to do it. Um, but I would say just finding the time is really the thing because, um, my normal, my normal vlogs, when I'm recording it, I usually have about an hour worth of, uh, of footage and then I have to cut it down. So that's editing usually takes me another hour. Um, sometimes two hours, even though I don't do anything special to the editing, but just going back and listening and trying to cut out, um, coughing and clearing my throat. And, you know, sometimes I sneeze and sometimes the cat is screaming and just, you know, random things like that. So I would say that's probably the hardest thing for me is just finding time. Do you think it is okay to vlog and not blog? Um, you know, I would say yes, but if you're looking to, um, be accepted as a blogger for a lot of stores, um, you would probably need to go ahead and have a blog too, because it's just a little something extra, um, I, there are people who will take just the vlogger. Uh, some of the subscription boxes will take just a vlogger. Um, so you could definitely do that. So if, but if you're not planning on doing like fashion stuff all the time, if you just want to do vlogging, just do vlogging. Why, why work more than you need to, right? Okay, let's see. I have a real question. <laughs> Um, I have a real life husband and daughter and trying to vlog when they're awake is really hard. So I try to wait for them to go to sleep, but then I'm too tired. When should I vlog? When, how do you figure that out? Oh girl. Um, so I, I live with somebody. I live with my boyfriend and our cat, which you guys have heard her, I'm sure in the background of some of my videos. Um, I just tell them, Hey, I'm recording. I actually have a sign that says on air 
<laughs> that he got me as kind of a gag gift, but it um it actually it works because when I am recording something, I will put the sign up. And that way when he comes in here and he sees the sign is up, then you know, he knows be quiet. Although it doesn't always work that way because he's an exceptionally loud person sometimes. <laughs> but I just find little I will just get an hour out of my day and usually my time when I am done with most of my errands and yet it's not time for dinner yet. Um, it's like around two o'clock for me or so. And that's when I will like hurry in and I will do a recording real quick and then I'll poof out and all of that. Or yeah, I wait until the family, my SL family is asleep and then I do a recording. And even if it's super late, um, sometimes I will just record and then I'll edit the next day. So just, uh, Whenever you have like an hour of spare time, just squish it in. Thinking about showing more of the kid grid and events for kids because not many vloggers showcase kid events. I so agree with you. I so agree with you. There's definitely not enough kid vlog stuff um, for Second Life. I completely agree with you and you would have lots of people watching you. I get asked all the time if I can show more things for kids. And um, and I try to as I come across them, but if somebody did more, that would be excellent. Oh, yes, I did not see it. I'm sorry. Uh, do you use a special mouse for walking in cam so you don't have them on the screen? No, I just have a, I have a very cheap, cheap mouse from Amazon, uh, which is way too loud. And I really need to find a better one. Um, it's just a regular mouse. But through Camtasia, through my editing software, uh, there is a, an option to turn off the cursor. So that's why you don't see the cursor um, when I do an actual video. You do see it when I'm live streaming, though, because I don't think I can turn it off there. I, I don't know. Maybe you can. I just, I'm not sure. But no, I'm everything. The only thing that I have that's... Uh, that's really good is um yes i do have a standalone mic for my desk um i don't oh i forget what it is called <laughs> it's something i found i got on amazon um but i do have a standalone mic and that's basically the only real like the only thing i've really done besides getting camtasia that i've uh put more money into about the cursor, you mean the walking cam arrows on the viewer? Oh, um, I don't use those. I know a lot of people use those to walk around, but um, I just use the WASD keys. And um, with the mouse, I turn or uh, cam around or something like that. And no, I don't use the um, I don't use the uh, little doodad things for walking the arrows. Gamer. <laughs> I am not. I'm not a gamer, but that's just... When I first started Second Life, I couldn't use the WASD keys. It was weird to me. I couldn't do it, so I used the arrow keys. So I spent, like, the whole first year, like, twisted. Any tips for smooth movement? I see yours and Barry's vids, and your cams are so smooth. I look like I'm having a seizure when I try to do it. Is it just practice? Yeah, but um, you can change how your camera moves in your preferences and I think Barry talked about this in one of her vlogs at one point um, if you go into your preferences under move and view and under the view thing there are a few sliders for smoothing and transition time just wiggle those around and then try to see how you can move your camera um, I have my smoothing up a little bit more than it was before just to make the camera kind of glide instead of, you know, jerky. <laughs> Which I haven't always had it like that. I only kind of did that recently. But um, I do that. And then when I am uh, camming around, instead of using the in-world camera buttons, I hold Control-Shift and... Not Control-Shift. Uh, Control-Alt. And then the left mouse button and then just uh, cam around that way. Or you can just do Alt 
and uh, the left mouse button and you can scroll in and out. And are all of you like just like camming around now using those? <laughs> <laughs> when I first came to Second Life, um, I didn't really know how to move the camera around. I didn't know how to do anything. And then somebody told me, oh, just hold Control Alt and your left button and then you can do whatever you want. And a lot of people kept saying, no, you just use Alt and that's how you do it. And I could only go back and forth with that. So Control Alt, left mouse button, camera around. That's how I do it. Uh, someone in my live stream is asking, have you ever done any voice work for commercial radio? And I, no, I haven't. Um, I don't... I don't know. I've, I've, no, I've never done any kind of uh, voice work. I would love to. I think that would be so much fun. Yeah, I yeah, I know. I was um I actually did a small recording when um I think BioWare was looking for some voice actors for I believe the the newest Mass Effect video that or the game that just came out, I think. And I did um I was trying to do one of the things and I nothing came of that. So <laughs> But I think that the uh, the voice. I don't think that I had my new microphone yet at that point too. So it could have just been the uh, the microphone. It could have been the quality. I don't know. But yeah, hey, hire me. I will come and uh, talk about your stuff. And then Dell fell offline, so bye. <laughs> Poor Dell. Quick, everybody run before she gets back. <laughs> Yeah, see, I am I am chained here for a little bit longer. So you guys, throw me some questions. Um, I know they were asking questions in the live stream. What is my favorite video that I have made? Ooh, let me think. Hmm. Almost every video that I do, I, I think that one is my favorite until I get to the next one and then that's my favorite. Um, I think, oh, actually, I think my favorite video that I ever did was when I went to do the haunted house over at the Linden Portal Park. And I was so scared. <laughs> I was so scared going through that. I spent most of that video not looking at the screen and trying not to listen. I I am such a scaredy cat, but I think that was probably the most fun one that I've done. Yeah, I that was it was so scary. Um my most popular video? Oh gosh. Let me look. <laughs> I actually I have no idea. I want to say that the most popular one I ever did was the uh, one for the smile shapes. And I feel like that one was, um, that was before I even really got started. Yeah, I I was so scared of that, <laughs> that freaking on and out. It was just ridiculous. Okay, let's see here. I'm actually, I'm looking up right now, like, which one would be my most popular one. Um, the one I just did with my sister was actually... Got a lot of hits, but I think that's because of her, not me. 
Okay, so my most popular video, which is really funny, uh, was the what the heck is this jelly dolls in Second Life. When the jelly doll thing started happening for us, I did a video because it was so weird to me that if your avatar complexity was too high, people would just see you as a big blob. <laughs> And I guess a lot of people uh, needed to know about jelly dolls, because that is the most popular video. And Del wants to eat them. What do you think is a good length for a Second Life vlog? Um, anything under 15 minutes, I would say. I would, for an unboxing, try to keep it to about 20 minutes. Um just because so i would say anywhere between 15 and 20 minutes but if you can get it like under 10 for most like regular vlogs that's even better what mesh head am i wearing i am wearing the um Lelutka simone head the bento one and i wear the lara hurley reskin Yeah, I love this head. I think it's so pretty. I want to get all of the um, the extra animations for it. How do you get your lips to move with your mesh head? Does it work with bento now? Yes, this head that I'm wearing is a bento head. And on my HUD, which I haven't been looking at myself, so I didn't realize that my uh, my mouth was moving as I was talking. <laughs> I've been looking at all of you and not at me. Um, there's a little button on the HUD that says that's for talking. Yeah, I got the free ones at Skin Fair, and now I want to go back and get the rest of them. Another real question. Someone said they don't that people don't like short videos. I'm not sure what that means or what short is, but my videos were too long. Nobody has time for that. <laughs> so I've been trying to make them shorter. Should I be doing that, working on making my videos shorter? Um, honestly, for like a regular video, I would say anywhere from 10 to 15 minutes is long enough. Um, if you're doing an unboxing, like 20, 20 minutes to me is perfect. Um, when they get to be like 45 minutes long, which can, which is a real thing with unboxing videos, 45 minutes is a long time to be looking at like the screen. So I would say for just a regular everyday type of vlog or a tutorial or something, 10 to 15, unboxing 15 to 20. Um, I know I go over that sometimes just because there's, sometimes there's a lot to say. What are your upcoming plans for your vlogs? Anything you're excited about? Uh, yeah, so tomorrow I am going to try to, um, I need to grab her. Somebody won me in the United and Kind auction back in like uh, December, I think it was. And what she wanted to do with me was to do a video. Because that was one of the things that I offered if somebody wanted to bid on me. And our time zones are not compatible, I think. Um, so we have not been able to get together. So tomorrow during the day, we're going to try and do that. And we're going to go check out a carnival. So that's going to be coming up. Um, I want to do another live stream, which I did one today just to try to calm my nerves, <laughs> which was really helpful because I love the people who come to my live streams. Um, let's see, what else do I have coming up? Oh, Rewind is coming up, um, and the theme is 80s Roller Rink, and so I'm going to sneak in there and check it out. And show you guys before the event opens. And um, I need to do another New to Me Thursday this coming week because I've missed the past two weeks because I am terrible. So 
yeah so that's that's some stuff that's coming up and oh I wanted to do one on uh, shop hop which is a kids event I believe that my daughter is taking place in so I'm gonna do a little shop hop video I don't get any money from uh, YouTube I don't get it I don't have ads on my I, I don't monetize any of my videos um, I don't I don't know there's there's like there's also rules and stuff about what you can monetize and all of that and I just don't really feel like figuring it out so I don't make any money off of doing this um, maybe one day I don't know it would be nice but uh, right now I don't monetize anything and um, the a lot of the things that I show I either buy it myself or um, was given to me through a blogger group or if somebody wanted me to vlog it like some of the unboxings that I do like I um, I unbox things for Mad P like Bish Box and Deco Crate, and I just did Builder's Box yesterday, and they also um, let me in their group very kindly. So that really helps. And if people just want to give me stuff, that's cool too. <laughs> but I make no promises on if I actually am going to show it. But you're more than welcome to just give me things. I will always take presents. <laughs> oh, my inventory is so bad anyway, I don't even know if I would notice if it was rising at this point. A PewDiePie addict. I would love to see PewDiePie in Second Life one day. I think that would be really funny. So do we have any other questions or uh, anything like that? No, you don't need to keep the HUD attached to uh, to make it work. I don't have mine on right now. Have you ever done voiceovers and what do you think about it? Um, I have had to do voiceovers in my own videos. Um, but I haven't done it for anybody else. I would if they asked me, but um, I have never. You're welcome. I have had so much fun with you guys today. Thank you all for being so cool and for making me feel so welcome it was really wonderful to get to speak with everybody today and um big thanks to Dell for asking me to do this because so i think um this is just really cool <laughs> i thought this was really fun and i you can always if you have more questions or anything for me you can totally im me or send me a note card or you want to comment on my videos or anything like that um my time in Second Life is a little bit limited a lot of the time. <laughs> um, but I will always try to get back to you if I possibly can. Oh, yeah, okay, Barry. <laughs> yeah, and if you guys want to follow my YouTube video, uh, my YouTube channel, you can do that. Um, I'm also on Twitter and Plurk and Facebook, which I don't update Facebook very often, but I'm there. And, um, yeah, that's, <laughs> yay! Thank you, um, uh, Alicia. I know we're going slightly over time, so if there's any very short last-minute questions, then uh, holler now. I, I've found out loads of stuff. I, I keep saying I need to do more with videos, but it's, is finding the time when it's quiet like now even my washing machine is on spin in the background if anyone can hear that i apologize <laughs> <laughs> 
Am I a model? Um, I used to be a long time ago, but no, I have not done any modeling in a in quite a while. Okay, well, thank you uh, to Alicia, obviously, for that. As I say, I found, I found out loads of stuff um, that I definitely want to, to try using. I found that really informative and helpful. I'm sure lots of other people did. Um, I want to say a quick thank you to Freya for buckling her laptop to live stream for BVN and for Berry um, for jumping in and, and saving us and live streaming as well as we had two live streams today. Um, I just want to point out as well, because I know there were a couple of questions on, on the streams, that um, BVN is here for bloggers and vloggers of all levels. So even if it's just something that you're thinking about doing, feel uh, free to join the BVN group, um, look at the BVN website and get all the information, attend the presentations, watch the videos, um, and learn uh, from from uh, the people that we've had doing the talks and everything, so um, we're we're open to all in that respect. Um, if you haven't already joined us, uh, please do join the group. As uh, Dale said at the beginning, there are some poses here which are exclusive bento poses for the group that you can pick up as well, and um, also. Next week we have uh, on uh, Saturday Oakley Foxtrot uh, defining a unique style and uh, again as Dale said at the beginning Oakley definitely has a very unique style so I'm interested um, in hearing what she's got to say about that. Next Sunday we have a live um, a group discussion. Group discussions are an opportunity for us to talk together in a group um, about the type of issues that are of interest to bloggers and next Sunday should be quite lively because we're going to be talking about um, the uh, bumping of photos on Flickr and whether it's a good thing to do or not and I know that elicits a lot of strong opinions on both sides of the argument. So that should be quite a lively debate. Do come along to that next Sunday. And then the following Saturday, uh, we have blogging home and garden items with a Wens uh, Tempest. <laughs> yeah, but yeah, I'm, I'm going to be like um, moderating that. I, I might wear some body armor or something. Um, but uh, yeah, we've got Wen Tempest coming in to talk about home and decor blogging, which I am uh, particularly excited about. I'm a bit of a wannabe Wens. I do like to, to do some decor blogging. So uh, I am looking forward to that one. Um, don't forget we have the Discord channel, so uh, if you've um, got Discord, or even if you haven't, there is a link on the bvnsl.com website to Discord, and there's always a lot of chat, um, sharing of posts, that kind of thing going on, a lot of support available there, as well as on the website. Uh, so again, just want to wrap up by saying thank you again, Alicia, it's been a really, really helpful um, and useful and thanks again to Freya and um, Barry for live streaming and we'll send an announcement out in the group when the video is up on YouTube. Thanks everybody, I really enjoyed this today, thank you.